This fire ant queen has traveled for miles on her nuptial flight, finally landing atop a sandy mound deep in the swamp. The vantage point might seem like an ideal home, but it may be short-lived. This whole area is liable to flooding, and nearby rainfall is already causing the groundwater to rise. Exhausted and without her wings, the queen is unable to move on alone. But if she can amass enough daughters in time, the colony as a whole may stand a chance. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. The queen is in imminent danger. Many nearby creatures have already been washed out of their homes by the rising water. A lucky few have been deposited on the shores east of the nest. As more arrive, tensions will rise. There isn't space here for everyone. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Food is abundant, but as the flood water begins to rise, the ants will quickly lose access to the lower lands. False bombardier larvae are burrowing through the earth surrounding the nest. They are already large and will hold their ground against small groups of ants. Great blue skimmer, Libellula vibrans, hunts overhead. This fantastic aerial predator shouldn't cause any trouble for the ants. That is, unless it decides to land in their way.
The boggy earth at the base of the mound is now saturated, and as night approaches, the water begins to creep closer. The new arrivals will rush to higher ground, heading straight for the nest. There is nowhere else to go. The ants will fight to the death. Queen is in imminent danger. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. The inundation has slowed, and fewer creatures are washing up to the east. The ants have an opportunity to explore for food, but there are other dangers at night. Moist-skinned amphibians have come out to take advantage of this new water world, harvesting lost insects displaced from their burrows. will fight to the death. An ant has fallen victim to a carnivorous plant. A pine woods tree frog, Gila femoralis, has wandered into the trail. This one has taken a break from mate calling for a quick meal, and it seems that ants are on the menu. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. The 
battle has begun. An ant has found itself entangled on the sticky tentacle of a dwarf sundew. As it tries to struggle free, more tentacles are drawn in, drowning the victim in thick mucilage. <laughs> is about to bring another torrent flushing through the bog, carrying with it a slew of ill-tempered arthropods. The battle has begun. There are 
intruders in the nest. The ants must protect the queen. There are intruders in the nest. The battle has begun. The ants must protect the queen. The battle has begun. to drain, the floodwater creeps ever nearer to the nest. Already cramped and irritated, a panic ensues and the refugees scramble for higher ground. Thank you. 
News of the insect feast has spread across the swamp. With growing numbers of amphibians patrolling the waters, the Invictors' scavenging expeditions will need to be well defended. ants marooned on a smaller section of the mound may be reachable if the fire ants join together to bridge the gap. An eastern newt, Notofalmus viridations, is devouring ants. Growing up to 10 centimeters in length, it dwarfs other creatures on the mound. Its red skin is toxic and serves as a warning to potential predators. As if the colony didn't already have enough to deal with, the Great Blue Skimmer has chosen this moment to touch down right outside the nest. Unchecked, this titan of the sky will no doubt disrupt colony activities, but if the soldiers are able to bring her down, the rewards could be mighty. Sustained assault from the fire ants, the skimmer's stamina is beginning to wane. She leaps away from battle and prepares to take off. If the ants want to prevent her escape, they'll need to act quickly. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new moon. Her wings weighted down with fire ants. The skimmer no longer has the strength to take off. By relentless stings, the great skimmer's attempt to flee became ever more futile. Finally collapsing atop the mound, she succumbs to the fire ants. Dismemberment will follow.
As the water draws ever nearer, more insects begin to wash up on the bank. The Invicta colony must maintain control or risk being overrun. The ants must defend themselves. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. The ants must protect the queen. Intruders in the nest.
Again, the floodwaters rise. The washed up invertebrates panic and a stampede ensues. The Invicta soldiers must form ranks quickly. An ant has fallen victim to a carnivorous plant. The Monomorium Black Ant Colony is soon to be flooded. This is the Fire Ant's last chance to raid their nest.
The little black ants have been defeated. The fire ants must pillage the nest quickly and hurry home while they still can. Battle has begun. The pond continues to swell, finally drowning what remains of the Monomorium colony. The fire ants watch as it sinks into the murky depths, foreshadowing their own demise.
Another surge advances, spreading a desperate frenzy throughout the beached survivors. The Invicta colony must leave now or prepare their last stand. Joining their bodies together to form a giant raft, the fire ants were able to ferry the queen from the mound just as the nest filled with water. Their perils are not over, but they've shown great resilience and an ability to survive in this harsh environment. Wherever they land, the creatures of the swamp will quickly come to know the might of the fire ants. I knew it! I knew it! With the proper exposure and stimulation, the mutation possibilities are boundless! The potential for amalgamation... <laughs> which is, of course, an epistatic effect owing to increased cytoplasmic facidity in what the... What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Preparing the report. Can you not do it quietly? Perhaps try using the keyboard? The keyboard? How quaint. Ugh. 